to somewhere else, right? We, we cannot, we don't have the services to take care of 50 immigrants, um, and we, we certainly don't have housing. We're in a housing crisis. Now let's put these numbers in perspective. The population of Del Rio is under 35,000, but they had nearly 50,000 migrant encounters in July alone, whereas Martha's Vineyard, their year-round population, 17,000, and they got 50, five zero migrants. Governor DeSantis had this to say. The minute even a small fraction of what those border towns deal with every day is brought to their front door, they all of a sudden go berserk and they're so upset. It just shows you, you know, their virtue signaling is a fraud. Now, Governor Abbott says the buses will keep rolling to relieve overrun border towns, while the Democrat-led city of El Paso approved a $2 million contract to bus more migrants at their own cost. Although no one is criticizing El Paso for their efforts, it's interesting, just about 20 minutes ago, you guys were showing video of that bus arriving in New York City. We don't know whether that's a bus sent by El Paso or a bus sent by Texas Governor Abbott. What's interesting is if it's El Paso, it won't be criticized. If it's Abbott's, it will be. Steve Ainsley, Brian? No right. doubt about it. Right. Thank you very much, Griff. Well, you know what? Uh, something unique happened yesterday. Thank you very much, Griff. Uh, it, something unique happened in the White House press briefing room. Uh, you know, Fox News has been asking the administration about the migrants on our southern border mm -hmm. for over a year. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, the entire front row and second row caught up. Everybody had questions about, hey, what's going on? What's, they can't what's, ignore the story anymore. They've been trying desperately, but now the mainstream media is on to something we've been telling you about for a very long time. You would have thought the administration, knowing this was coming, they would have a better answer. <laughs> you be the judge. Does the White House stand by those comments that the border is secure? What we stand by is that we are doing everything that we can uh, to make sure that um, uh, that we follow the process that's been put forth. That, that's why we have uh, historic funding uh, to do just that, to make sure that, um, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, to make sure that, um, to make sure that uh, the folks that we encounter at the border be removed uh, or expelled. And again, the facts are more individuals encountered at the border will be removed or expelled this year than in any previous year. The, uh, but that's the, the work that's, that's we, that we have been doing. Is the border secure? I, I'm just going to refer back to the vice president. We agree with her. We agree that uh, the border is secure, but there is still more work to be done. And you talked about so. how many, uh, <laughs> uh, my goodness, I, how was she not prepared for that? I mean, that, that binder, is it? Does it have any information? Because they never seem to help her out. It's uh, just finding the right page. Right. Right. That takes a little I know time. I have it in here somewhere. Yeah, right. I, I got to talk wait, until wait. I find uh, the bah, right bah, page. Bah, Why is it under? Is it? Oh, here we go. 8,500 breaches across the Poor border. Thing. You know what she chose to talk about? Well, Donald Trump's wall was breached so many times. Number one, if there was no wall there and you had your way, they'd be jogging across. But, at least they're, at the very least, slowed down. And along with the border was technology and roads on either side that allowed you to surveil while blocking and ferrying and funneling. Just talk to a Border Patrol person if you are a Democrat, independent, agnostic. Here's the thing. Just talk to them. You ask them what works. They were working for four years. And the thing about it, when the administration wasn't able to stop the border influx, they were working to stop it. They were threatening Mexico. They were taking aid away from Honduras and Guatemala and El Salvador. And they said, you'll get it back when you crack down on your border, and they did, and they did. Well, you know, this has been going on for more than a year. The first secret flight was, what, August of last year, yeah. going into Westchester? Right. So if you are just watching Fox for the first time, and you don't know about this story. We've been reporting on it for more than a year now. But this is what, this is what we continuously see. The Democrats can do this for a year, and then when a Republican does it, then all of a sudden they want to charge them with kidnapping? Then if you're going to do that, treat everyone fairly, and then charge Joe Biden with kidnapping, too, because he's been doing the same thing, sending these secret flights into Westchester, sending them into Jacksonville, Florida. And guess what he's going to be doing now? What? It looks like he's going to be sending some Cubans into Delaware. Right. That There's is in the process. He threatened that before. Martha's Vineyard in Delaware, they're, they're at Martha's Vineyard. Next load, next drop. Uh, if you want to keep Joe Biden out of Delaware, 
put some illegal immigrants there. Then right. suddenly you'll realize, I better work through the weekend, honey. There's a story out that apparently Charlie Crist, who is running against DeSantis, is putting this into a radio ad that uh, he's going. DeSantis is going to start busing people, Cubans, to Delaware, and so he's it's putting just, that particular message okay. onto that can't be true. Cuban he radio loves, station. He loves the Cuban Americans. Well, apparently they quote one of DeSantis's uh, assistants who said that, so they're, they're running with it. All right. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.